I ran into a legend right here at the 2022 Olympia Expo. OldSchoolLion.com presents Muscle Sport Media's coverage the whole weekend. And the one, the only, the gorgeous, the amazing, Sharon Bruno. Where? Like, who are you talking about? Hey, he didn't even recognize me, so, you know. <laughs> no, I... I'm so hot, you know. No, she is very hot. And, and so I'm, I'm getting the, uh, hot under the collar now, being next to her. But I didn't know she was as tall as you. What is your height? Yeah, I'm 5'9 without the heels. Some I'm heels. I'm and I get that a lot. No, I, I just. Uh, I'm a little guinea, so it's hard for me. You know, when I see a taller girl, it throws me off. I didn't know how tall you are. How have you been? I have been great. And, you know, it's my first Olympia in a, in a few years. Uh, it's wonderful to see all the old school. Gotta love old school at the Olympia. Love the Olympia. It's still my favorite show to come to, and uh, it's great to see so many old friends here, like my pal Joe. Hey, thank you for that spread, by the way, in uh, your magazine. Well, I appreciate I have to thank Bill Dobbins for that. Bill Dobbins, yeah. Bill's photos, all Bill's photos, but it's, yeah, it was a treat. Thank you. I didn't expect that. So. Bill Dobbins did a great. Uh, shoot with everything and article with Sharon and we were very happy to run it in Muscle Sport Magazine but of course I'd like to thank Troy Moore who's doing the, doing me a favor right now and holding it doing the camera and he's with Sharon today so thank you Troy for allowing me to, to take a few minutes of our time people that are in the industry today a lot of them don't realize the people that were there before them the pioneers especially on the ladies side but the Miss Olympia was gone for a couple of years, and thankfully Jay brought it back. How do you feel between the day that you were up on the stage at the Olympia and looking at it today? I, you know, I am grateful and blessed that the timing was everything. Um, you know, because I'm from the 90s era. A lot of people think I was in the 80s, but I'm from the 90s era. But some, you know, one of the pioneers. And, uh, to, you know, it was a special time for us then because a smaller group. And of course the publications were out, so you knew everybody. And there was only a handful of pros on the women's stage and the men's stage, right? Now there's so many divisions and I almost feel like it's so saturated, but I love it because look how it's grown. It's massive. There's so many divisions and wonderful athletes. So, you know, it's a different time. I'm always gonna like my, my era the best because it was special for me. Uh, and the camaraderie I had with all the girls, we're all, most of us are still in touch. And so when I watch the shows, like today, they had the women's, um, uh, the pre-judging, right, this morning here at the Expo, and I just get chills and I smile because I know what they're feeling on that stage. It's just such a wonderful moment in a platform after all that hard work. So, you know, the difference, ours was more personal and because there's so little, um, you know, smaller numbers, it was, you know, I, I thought it was a bigger, um, how can I put it? The publications made us superstars, put it that way, yeah. you know, and, and it's true. Now with the internet, we get to see thousands of beautiful faces and amazing men and, and uh, yeah, it's just different times, but that's what happens. I like them both, but mine will always be the best. Now, back when you were competing, Miss Olympia had its own show, its own night. You know, Madison Square Garden, all these big places. Yeah. It's part of Olympia Weekend now. Do you think it's stronger being part of Olympia Weekend? Do you think when it was on a standalone, it had its own unique identity as comparison to everything else? You know, yeah, no, it doesn't compare. I mean, Madison Square Garden, you know, the Miss Olympia by itself, right? And the Mr. Olympia was by itself both night performances. Um, so when I see it at the Expo, the only reason that I can understand that they're holding most of the prejudging at the Expos is because there's so many divisions. Because you know yourself, Joe, just one show is a long night, right? Uh, so you have this many shows. Who's gonna sit through like four shows in a row? You can't, it's, it's impossible. So this does well. It makes sense for the competitors and, and the sponsors and everything, but um, now our time, and that's what I mean. Again, it was the one night, the one show. You waited all year to see all these people, and 
Uh, it was it was a pretty amazing time. Tell us a little bit about you know since you stopped competing, what are you doing now? Uh, you know where where do you reside and how can people follow you online? What happened to you? <laughs> no, it's not that. Just you know, listen. If you guys don't know Sharon Bruno, then you don't know female bodybuilding. She was one of the top names for for a long, long time. So so what do you what are you uh, doing now? And give out your your site and all stuff like that. Oh, absolutely. You know the the, the beauty of bodybuilding and and my love and grateful and thanks to Joe Weeder, the late Joe Weeder. Uh, gave me a platform and built my career through the publication. So with the bodybuilding stage and the publications at the time was aired on ESPN, a lot of us, myself and Corey and you know quite a few of the girls, we had other opportunities and doors open, which led into film and television and hosting for ESPN or other programs, which happened to me. So I kind of, you know, for, you know, parlayed into other, I mean, I'm all about a new chapter, a new journey. This is what life's about. And the bodybuilding platform gave me that opportunity to grow and to do other challenges, right? So exciting. So I did a lot of film, TV, worked as a stunt woman, worked at 20th Century Fox. And uh, then over the years, I'm starting to expand um, my own YouTube channel. So we've been shooting and uh, we'll get that out on the platform very soon. But I've always kept a foot in the fitness arena. I still do seminars, I still host events. So, you know, I'll never leave that because that that was my backbone. That's what gave me the opportunity to do everything. So I, I never really left. I just kind of hid in the backgrounds. <laughs> and you obviously never stop training and dieting because you look absolutely fantastic. Look, oh, see, we're getting a real special. Oh, yeah. It's all about the gun, baby. I feel like a smaller, but it's still there. I'm still strong. You, you are very strong. You look fantastic. Sharon Bruno, right here live at the 2022 Olympia.